Hello guys, Pete here. Welcome to my flight sim channel. Because so many people have asked if I will share my PTA preset, my Wish preset, or basically how did I get my sim looking pretty realistic in the videos, I decided to actually share my presets with you. So if you're already familiar with PTA and Wish you can go uh, straight down to the description of the video, grab my presets, apply them, and you're ready to go. For all the other guys not familiar with these tools, I decided to make this short tutorial. So take these few minutes and I promise you after that that your sim will look awesome. The first tool that we need is the famous P3D Tweak Assistant or in short PTA. Uh, this tool lets you edit the the shaders that comes with P3D and um, for example you can do things like make the shadows uh, much deeper or less intense, you can uh, edit the visual appearance of the water and so many other things. So this tool is uh, really a must have in my eyes and uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the most of you guys already have this tool. If not, go to the simtweaks.com website then you have to create an account and log in. After login, you can download the PTA tool for Prepare 3D version 3 for free. If you want to use it for P3D version 4, like me, you unfortunately have to buy it for about 15 pounds, I think. So, create an account if you don't already have, login, download the tool, install it. It's a pretty simple installer, like for any other software. And after that, open it for the first time and then we go for, to the next step. So when you're done with the installation of PTA tool, then just open it for the first time and it should look something like this. Just make sure that uh, you have this green message here saying shaders integrity is okay. If you have uh, any red messages down here, then something went wrong or you already messed up your shader files. So uh, make sure uh, that you back up the original P3D files. But usually when you start the program for the first time, then everything should be okay. So. Then go to the download link in the description of this video and download my PTA preset. There are two different files, one is for PT, uh, P3D version 3, one is for P3D version 4. Of course, uh, take the according file uh, for your sim and for your PTA tool. I'm using P3D version 4, so I download the PTA pilot Pete P3D version 4 ini file. Um, I already did this, then go to open. Um, navigate to the download folders where you have downloaded my PTA preset, PTA pilot, P P3D. Click on open. After that, click on actions and click on apply preset. Then uh, you have to, should have this green uh, message here, preset has been applied successfully. I will not describe you how PTA works in detail. You can see here the checkboxes of the tweaks that I used in my preset. Of course, you can add um, additional tweaks. Of course, you can edit the parameters of uh, the tweaks that I applied. Um, here is a short description of the, of the tweak and there are also some example images so that you can see what um, that you change actually. But um, you will find out for yourself for the moment. Just open my preset. Click on actions. Click on apply preset and everything should be okay. And we can close PTA and have a look at reshade. So the next step is to download and install Reshade. Go to the reshade.me website. The link is also provided down in the description. Um, Reshade is a so-called post-processing injector, so it will, will not affect your P3D files. It will not edit or overwrite any P3D files. Um, it works like a, an image filter applied over your SIM. So click on download or navigate down to the bottom of the page. Um, actually released is uh, version 307, so just click on download here. Download the exe file. And then, of course, go to your downloads folder, start the installer. And the first thing that we have to do is select the game. So click here, then navigate to your P3D main folder. Select the Prepare 3D exe file, click on open. 
and then we have to select the rendering API. And in case of P3D, this is Direct 3D 10 Plus. So click on this and uh, it asks you if you would like to download a collection of standard effects. Of course, we have to click yes. Then it will download um, all the effects needed. Just make sure that everything is checked here. Click on OK and you are done. So the next step after installing Reshade is to go to the Ultimate Realism Pack website. Uh, it's ultimaterealismpack.weebly.com. The link is also down in the description. Um, I think uh, the most of you guys already know what URP is. It's uh, basically a texture package uh, with some additional sky textures in it, with the PTA presets in it, with some custom shaders and sun mods and stuff. Uh, we will of course not use the whole pack here because we will only use some partic particular files. So uh, let's head to the download page here and then make sure you download this file, the version 1.1 release candidate for P3D version 3. I know there is already a version 4 uh, file available, but uh, we will use this one because um, in this package there are some custom shaders that are not compatible with PTA and because I will show you how to use my PTA preset and my settings, uh, we will not use those custom shaders provided with the realism pack, we will use PTA for this, but we need some files out of here, for example the sky textures. So. Download these files, version 1.1 for P3D version 3. Even if you're using P3D version 4 like me, it's completely compatible. Download this um, zip folder, go to, your, go to your download page and unzip this folder. So now we have to copy some files. First, make sure that you have downloaded my Reshade preset uh, provided in the download link. It's the file called Reshade Pilot Pete. Uh, open up your P3D main folder. Just copy my Reshade preset, Reshade, Reshade Pilot Pete. Copy it uh, somewhere in your sim uh, P3D main folder. And what you also see is that you have now a Reshade Shaders folder in your P2D main folder. Um, then go to the Ultimate Realism Pack folder that we have just downloaded. Go to the Reshade folder. And then you have uh, in the Shaders folder in there you have the Lightroom.fx. This is an additional effect that we use. Um, go to your shaders folder in your scene main folder. Copy it. Then also go to the textures folder. And here are two additional um, textures that we need to copy over in the P3D uh, Reshade Shaders Textures folder. And this will replace those two files here, because if you don't do this, uh, you will have a dirt effect uh, always on your on your screen. And uh, this is pretty annoying. So we will use those textures that eliminate this uh, dirt effect. And we're done. After that, we want also use the sky textures provided from the Ultimate Realism Pack. So go to your Ultimate Realism Pack downloaded folder, go to sky and copy all the textures that are in the texture folder. Copy them, go back to your P3D main folder, navigate to the texture folder and then place and overwrite those 140 files. So now we have installed PTA and applied my preset. We have used the sky textures from the Ultimate Realism Pack. We have also used a uh, reshade effect from the uh, Ultimate Realism Pack. And we have added my reshade presets uh, to the sim. So the next and last thing that we have to do is to start our sim and configure it reshade. Uh, Reshade is not a separate program installed on your PC, though it's only accessible uh, when you start P3D. So we will do this now. 
So when you start your Simba, you will notice that all the textures are loading pretty slow. This is uh, only on the first time after we have uh, applied our reshade uh, and PTA preset. After that, it should go back to normal. So now we have some settings that we have to do that everything works perfect. So open up the reshade window. You can access, assess the vi uh, reshade window by pressing Shift and F2. After that, uh, Reshade will uh, start the short tutorial. This is only occurring uh, the first time when you start it. Just click on continue here. Then on the next step, you have um, a drop down menu. And in here, you should find my preset called Reshade Pilot Pete. Select this and click on continue. And you have already seen it has already applied my preset. Click on continue here also, click on finish. So now we can use the program. Now my uh, reshape preset is loaded up. Then you can go to the settings page and here make sure that you change the configuration mode to the performance mode. It will reload the shaders. You will have a little lag for some seconds. So now we have configured Reshade. I will not uh, describe you how Reshade works. Basically, you can go to the uh, configuration mode, go to the home screen, um, add additional effects and change the values of the effects. But uh, this will take way too much time to uh, describe you all this in detail. Basically, just add my preset, change to performance mode, and then um, you should know that when you do a screenshot in P3D with the default P3D uh, screenshot key, you will not get the effects on your screenshot from Reshade because Reshade works outside of the sim, it's like a filter over your screen. So, if you want to capture the screenshot with the uh, Reshade effect provided, then uh, make sure that you set a print screen uh, key key here and that you use this key to make screenshots. You can also change the, 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 the path uh, where your screenshots should be saved and you can change the file format of the screenshot from BMP to PNG if you want. Um, that's all you have to know. Close these windows, make sure performance mode is selected and that in the home screen my Reshade Pilot Pete ini file Reshade preset is selected and you're done. After that, go to your P3D menu and there it's very important that you go to the lighting setting section and then activate all the receive flags in your shadow section here. If you don't do this, not all the effects from PTA will uh, apply it correctly. So make sure receive is checked for anything. Then the last thing we have to change are the HDR settings. So I like for my preset, uh, I like these values here. Brightness is, I change this sometimes from 1.2 to 1.4. Um, in the middle is 1.3, uh, bloom 0.65 and saturation 0.85. I think this gives me a pretty good uh, overall solution. And it looks pretty good with my PTA and Reshade presets. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped a little bit and that your sim is looking awesome now. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask them down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more flight sim content. Bye bye.